And what it kicked off the the main event card was Eric Anders versus Darren Stewart. And, you know, five was we had one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fights on the main card, two ends two ended in a no contest. We obviously had Jan and Sterling the week prior that ended in a disqualification. Um, this one ended the same way. Uh Stewart had a knee down against the fence and Anders um Anders got him in the head. I think they were saying I, I only saw I only saw the initial shot. I didn't see the review the instant replays after. But I heard them saying, you know, he had his hand up, so it kind of kind of took the blow. It wasn't as impactful as Jan's. And it didn't even when I saw it that one time, it definitely didn't seem as impactful. But I again, this one was one of those when it happened. I'm like, so is the fight a no contest? Is it a DQ? Do we have a winner or a loser, or is it just up in the air? Ended up being a no contest. Yeah, so this is uh, I had I had taken Stewart as my pick for this one, and he, he was kind of disappointing. Man, he looked like he just completely ran out of energy towards the end of the round. And I think Anders would have taken that fight if if it weren't for that knee. I think he would have legitimately taken the fight if it had continued. Um, then again, you never know. You know, Stewart maybe could have come up with a KO out of thin air or something. But if if it had gone to decision, there's no way that he was gonna. I don't think he was gonna win that fight. Um, as far as the knee goes, man, like, <laughs> like I can't believe we had another one back to back. It's like, are these guys just watching each other's uh, tapes and going, "Ooh, that looks kind of one up." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I, maybe I should throw one in there, but <laughs> it just it goes to yeah. show. I, I think that I think that the Piotr one. Everybody's saying it was an intentional knee. It was an intentional knee, and I'm like, okay, it was an intentional knee. Yeah, but like, so it was malicious. Yeah, I don't think there yeah, was any. Like, yeah, they didn't accidentally like, launch their knee. Like they have, like you, yeah, you and know just it's kinda, intentional. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna knee you right now. So you can't say it was accidental. No, there's no accidental knee. I guess the question comes down to, you know, yeah, the, it, was there malicious intent behind it? I don't think Beatrice knee had any malicious intent behind it. So for nor this one, nor this one, obviously not. And, or the same with the eye poke that we were talking about earlier in the episode. Yeah. You know, there was no mal- malice behind that. It just yeah. happens, dude. So. I think that Piotr's DQ was clear BS, man. That shouldn't have happened. It should have gone to no contest, the same as these two fights did, because that makes sense to me. You know, like a DQ should be reserved for if it's like, no, this guy actively tried to hurt this person. You know, like the Tim Elliott fight. If Tim Elliott had really hurt um, Espinosa, you, you know, you could easily say, oh, no, he was trying to do it because he was literally saying, like, he was talking smack to him in the ring, mm. you know, for. A different reason but if he had significantly hurt him you know that would have been with malice easily because he had reason to be doing all of that you know what reason did uh anders have to need stewart really what reason did jan have to knee uh aljermaine what reason did uh, edwards have to poke out the eye of uh Bilal muhammad so i i don't know i think i think maybe the no contest is the right decision for these kinds of things. And I definitely think that the Piotr one should have probably been a no contest too. And the only reason you didn't see any DQs here is because they didn't want to have a, another fiasco on their hands. Uh, so when that happened, as soon as it happened, the, even the commentators were kind of unsure while they were still hashing out what's going on. Commentators were also unsure. I was unsure. I, I was thinking it's okay. This happened last week. So this means that Anders is going to get DQ'd and Stewart wins. Um, but then, and then DC kind of speculated, well, they're both like, wait, so is this the same? And then DC was saying, given that this is in round one, maybe because it's earlier in the fight, it won't be a DQ. Maybe it'll be a no contest. And I think one of the guys, or maybe like the tweets started coming in and they were like, no man, that doesn't make any sense. Why the hell would that matter? which is what I was thinking. I was thinking, yeah, why would it matter if it was in round one or round three or round two, or if it's a five rounder, if it's round four, if, uh, the knee's the knee. Like why does the the duration of when it happened yeah. signify anything? And then it turns out DC was actually right because once they announced that it was a no contest, they, they mentioned what the rule was. It was a two-parter. The first part was because it was in the first round and the second part was something. I don't remember if it was like intent or impact or given I, I feel like maybe they mentioned since it was kind of the blow was a little bit mitigated by the hands something it was a two-parter but i remember the first part they mentioned was that it was in the first round so that was part of it which again i'm not fully understanding why does that matter when it was is it because like less than half the fight has happened so the 
there shouldn't be a determination. Like I, I can't think of anything. Maybe there is a reason that makes more sense if it's if it's presented. But given that I'm unaware of what that is, yeah, I'm in agreement with you. If if Peters was a DQ, then this should be a DQ. If yeah. this was in the DQ, then Peters shouldn't have been a DQ. So I don't know. I don't. I can't remember what that second part was, and the first part of it being earlier in the fight doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, there was another weird thing that happened uh, where uh, I think his name is Joe Martinez, the announcer for uh, for Saturday's fights. Yeah, you, your favorite guy in, in uh, the UFC, <laughs> man. He, uh, he, I saw him lean into to Herb, and he goes, uh, "So how are we scoring this, or what are we calling this? Blah blah. No contest." And Herb said, uh, "No decision." And I hadn't heard anything like that before. So that also brought up a question like, wait, what's the, is there a no contest and a no decision? Is it, is that like a boxing thing or what, you know, what does that mean? Um, but then they've got this down as no contest, but I, I clearly remember Herb saying no decision, not no contest. Cause he was even asked like no contest or no decision. So I think, I think it'd be really interesting to do a, like a video on, you know, the MMA rules uh how the judging breaks down you know we could focus on let's say the vegas commission and and i'm interested at this point so i'm sure there's plenty of people that would be interested in learning what the actual rules are and what all this stuff means regarding that the that interaction between herb and joe martinez the only thing i can think of as to why he said no decision versus um no contest is maybe just in that moment he was just like oh, yeah no decision because i've never heard of no decision either um so you're you're saying you heard martinez say this or that and he answered with i don't even know why he, he gave that there I, i've never heard of a no decision in, in, in mma again i don't know if that's a boxing thing but um because when he when he when they said um obviously they announced it as no contest right they didn't say no decision or didn't Joe Martinez did. say no decision. I think he said they no said, decision. I guess it's uh. just, I guess it's just a synonym at that point. It's no decision is no contest. Cause even listen, hearing it, I'm like, I mean, it's the same thing. Cause no contest doesn't have a decision. So to me, like no decision, it's the same thing. And, and then why would Herb maybe say he no had a brain decision? Fart. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Maybe it was a brain fart. I don't know. In that moment. And then again, like when he said that, and then he, and then he lifted up Eric Anders, hand. He's like, Oh wait, no, he didn't win. <laughs> he put it down. So maybe Herb was kind of scrambling because he had the interaction with the doctor too, trying to figure out what are we doing? He was talking with Stewart. So he maybe wasn't fully there. Um, but to go back to earlier, what you were saying about how that fight was looking prior to that, that fight almost was going to be stopped. I thought there was a, I thought earlier in the oh, fight, yeah. they were going to stop it. And Stewart already looked like his bell was wrong. I thought maybe it should have been called. I had Stewart in this one. I had some, had some, uh, skittles on it so that's why in the end the no contest wasn't great and it wasn't bad for me but i seriously thought it was going to be called earlier and because he didn't look good i'm like oh man call this thing man he already looks like he's not fully there because by the time he kind of got on his feet he looked wobbly. Oh, he was wobbly dude he was yeah. on the ground he got back up and he didn't look good I, I, and anders was giving it to him i was expecting it to to be called and we had uh at the this was early oh it was 437 in in round one when it was called what 437 to go no that's no, uh, 30, uh, a minute something left up. okay yeah yeah so significant, because, significant or, strikes you had 44 versus 16 uh, yeah, he would, mean, and they were in succession they were quick ones he was just giving it to him uh but herb can sometimes be generous <laughs> well he was the, trying to be he was definitely time. trying yeah. to be because i agree with you i think uh herb was probably gonna call it and then maybe look at the clock and was like hmm well if he can survive through this then you know i'm not gonna call this one early um because, yeah, as winded as he looked and as wobbly as Stuart looked, maybe going and taking a seat and having some water and having some ice rubbed on him may have, like, brought him back to life for the second. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely, definitely had Anders taking that round. And I think he probably would have laid Stuart out in the second if they had been allowed to continue. Yeah, so. if somehow he made it to that, that's how it was looking. And I expect the Stuart to win because... Uh, he fought Kevin Holland last. Um, he was, I think, maybe the third third person in Kevin Holland's streak or the fourth person on that streak. And it went to decision. And Holland actually, after the fight, said, like, you know, I wasn't overly happy with that. He's like, I actually thought, you know, maybe he even won the fight. I think I don't remember if it was a split decision or if it was a, a unanimous 29-28 for Holland. It but it was a decision. close one. It was a split. So there you go. So he was even... After the fight, he's like, look, man, if he wants to run that back, I'm all for it. So that's I was basing it off of that. You know, I think Eric Anders also won his last fight, but I was just thinking my dude Holland, given how he had how he fought last year, and given that Stewart almost beat him, you know, I figured 
that should probably lead to Anders winning. And the line was fairly close on this. I don't think, was, I don't remember Stuart being like, wait, I think it was like minus 180 or something. So, uh, well, not fairly close, but also it's not like a heavy favorite. But he almost, again, I think they should have been called and ended up being a no contest. So whatever, but I don't know. It was uh, just weird how you have it back-to-back weeks and not only back-to-back weeks, but then that second week you have two events that go to no contest. Yeah. Uh, so, so hopefully not a third, hopefully not next week <laughs> or this coming week, I should say. So that one was the opener of the main card. Uh, I think the main card had potential to be really good. The three fights that did go to, that did have a result were great. You had a split decision. You had a, a KO and another mm-hmm. KO. Oh, sorry. We had four out of the six. So we had three KOs and a split decision. So the, the main card, I think could have, I think the overall event could have been fantastic had the first and the last of the main card had an actual decision in terms of a, a, from the fight, not a, not a no contest, but still, I thought it was a good main card. I think, you know, a little bit more well-rounded than last week's, maybe not a favorable opinion, but overall I thought it was more well-rounded. 